Greetings, I'm Jonathan, Polygon Flow's Community Director. Today I'm covering the Cable Tool, one of many tools available in Polygon Flow's Dash, our next-gen Unreal Engine plugin. This is the best way to create wiring and other types of cables in Unreal, and I'll show you how. I have these free utility poles from Polyhaven, and I want to wire them up. I'll use dummy box objects in Unreal to do it. After selecting them in the outliner, I can open the dash toolbar and then type cable to prompt dash to select the cable tool. The cable tool has three different modes with individual settings per mode. Let's start off with the default mode, objects. With this mode, we simply add the currently selected objects to the cable tool and it will auto-populate a set of cables between the dummy objects with default parameters. Let's control those parameters a bit and start by adjusting the divisions option which reduces or increases the amount of subdivision in each cable. Radius controls the thickness of the cables. The higher the value, the thicker the end result will be. Gravity min and max both control the droop of the cables and how they're affected by the gravity in the world. You can make both values identical to have similar tension in the wires or break it up with two different values. Duplicates creates multiple cable strands between each cable connection. Tilt adjusts the sway of the cable so that they don't hang straight down, but they rather sway outward. This can be used to give even more variation to your cables. Cut rate creates randomized cable segments hanging from the main cables. Cut Max Length works in conjunction with the Cut Rate tool to change the length of the drooping wires hanging off the rest of the cables. Connection Rate crosses random cables over and connects each cable up randomly to one another to create a busier and noisier appearance that's similar to what you'd find in dense urban areas. Noise creates noise in the cables, exactly what you'd expect. This can make the cables look like the internal wiring is damaged and or broken. Smooth takes all of the existing settings in the cable tool and averages it all out, which can completely eliminate some of the existing settings if too much smoothing is applied. Seed creates randomized versions of all input parameters. Connection mode lets you change how the cables link to each object based on the order the objects were added to the cable tool. There's three different methods of setting up cables in Dash. Objects takes the position of each cable loaded into the cable tool and creates a sequence of cables connecting those objects together. Scatter covers the surface of your meshes with cables by scattering across random points on the objects, then connecting the points between objects to create cables. Scatter has a few specific adjustments that you can make, including minimum and maximum mask angles. These define where scatter points will be generated on the mesh for the cable segments. You can use them in concert to make scattering happen in a very specific angle range or limit the scattering to broad points on the surfaces. Self-scatter generates a mass of cables scattered across individual objects without connecting them together. You can adjust the length of individual randomized cables by using the self-max length parameter to cull longer cables and clean up the resulting scatter meshes. Curves only works with curve objects in Dash, which you can draw using the draw curve command. Curves allows you to precisely place cables at specific points. Curves only works with the endpoints of curves, so you can place those endpoints where you want cables to be generated and they'll connect one side of the curve to the other. Self-scatter can be used to place a ton of different cables on a single mesh, which can then be scattered further using the scatter density command. This can allow you to create incredibly dense cable networks on specific objects to create a cybernetic-like feel to your environment or simply spice up the visual appeal of the scene. You can also fine-tune your cables by adding materials to them. I found a sheet metal texture in the Megascans library and applied it to the cables to get a ribbed appearance, and then adjusted the normal map and the brightness, and the contrast, to get it to look nice and dark, like power line cables should. 
The ribbing helps provide some visual interest too. You can also work with other tools in Dash to decorate your cables, like creating alpha cards out of an input opacity map. Dash will auto-generate geometry for the cards and select them in the world. You can then add them to surface scatter and adjust that to your liking, saving you a ton of time and letting you focus exclusively on the aesthetics of the world that you're building. Now you're seeing why we call it Dash. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you learn more about working with Dash. See you next time.